Lisp is a familiar of computer programming languages with a long history and a distinctive fully parenthesized Polish prefix notation originally specified in 1958. Lisp is the second oldest high-level programming language in widespread use today. Only Fortran is older by one year. Like Fortran, Lisp has changed a great deal since its early days, and a number of dialects have existed over its history. Today, the most widely known general purpose Lisp dialects are common Lisp and the scheme. Lisp was originally created as a practical mathematical notation for computer programs, influenced by the notation of Alonzo Church's Lambda Calculus. It quickly became the, fav the favorite programming language for artificial intelligence research. As one of the earliest programming languages, Lisp pioneered many ideas in computer science, including tree data structure, automatic storage management, dynamic typing, conditionals, high-order functions, recursion, and the self-hosting compiler. The name Lisp derived from Lisp processor. Linked lists are one of Lisp's major data structure, and Lisp source code is itself made up of lists. As a result, Lisp programs can manipulate source code as a data structure, giving rise to the macro systems that allow programmers to create new syntax or new domain-specific languages embedded in Lisp. The interchangeability of code and date gives Lisp its instantly recognizable syntax. All program code is written as S expressions or parenthesized lists. A function call or syntactic form is written as a list with the function of operator's name first and the arguments following. For instance, a function f that takes three arguments would be called as left parenthesis argument function name, argument 1, argument 2, and argument 3. Lisp was invented by John McCarthy in 1958. While well, he was at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, McCarthy published its design in a paper in Communication of the ACM in 1960, entitled Recursive Functions of Symbolic Expressions and Their Computation by Machine, Part 1. Part 2 was never published. He showed that the, with a few simple operators and a notation for functions, one can build a Turing complete language for algorithms, information processing language with the first AI language from 1955 or 56 and already included many of the concepts such as list processing and recursion which came to be used in Lisp. 
McCarthy's original notation used the bracketed M expressions that would be translated into S expressions. As an example, the M expression car counts A B is equivalent to S expression car counts A B and a lot of parentheses. Once Lisp was implemented, programmers rapidly chose to use S expression and M expression was abandoned. M expression surfaced again with the short-lived attempts of M Lisp by Horace Annie and Seagull by Wolfgang Val Pratt. Lisp was first implemented by Steve Russell on the IBM 704 computer. Russell had read McCarthy's paper and realized to McCarthy's surprise that the Lisp eval function could be implemented in machine code. The result was working Lisp interpreter which could be used to run Lisp programs or more properly evaluate Lisp expressions. To assembly language macros for the IBM 704 became the primitive operation for decompo decomposing Lisp car content of the address part of register number and uh, cedar contents of the decrement part of register number. From the context, it is clear that the term register is used here to mean memory register, nowadays called memory location. Lisp dialects still use car and and CURDER CDR for the operation that returns the first item in the list and the rest of the list respectively. The first complete Lisp, Lisp compiler written in Lisp was implemented in 1962 by Tim Hart and Mike Levin at MIT. This compiler introduced the Lisp model of incremental compilation in which compiled and interpreted function can be intermixed freely. The language used in Hart and Levin's memo is much closer to modern Lisp style than McCarthy's early code. Lisp was difficult system to implement with the compiler techniques and the stock hardware of the 1970s. Garbage collection routines developed by then MIT graduate student Daniel Edward made it practical to run Lisp on general purpose computing system by efficiency was still a problem. This led to the creation of Lisp machines, dedicated hardware for running Lisp environments and programs. Advances in both computer hardware and the compiler technology soon made Lisp machine obsolete. During the 1980s and 1990s, a great effort was made to unify the work on New Lisp dialects, mostly successor to MacLisp, like ZetaLisp and NIL, new implementation of Lisp, NIL, into single language. The new language, Common Lisp, was somewhat compatible with the dialects. So it's replaced the book, the common lisp, the language, notes the compatibility to various constructs. In 1994, ANSI published the common lisp standard.
Since its inception, Lisp was closely connected with the artificial intelligence research community. Especially on PDP-10 systems, Lisp was used as the implementation of the programming language Macroplanner, which was used in the famous AI system SHRDLEO in the 1970s as AR research spawned commercial offshore. The performance of existing LISP system became a growing issue. Over its 50 years history, LISP has spawned many variations on the car theme, often as expression language. Moreover, each given dialect may have several implementations. For instance, there are more than a dozen implementations of common LISP. Differences between dialects may be quite visible. For instance, common LISP uses the keyword define to name a function, but scheme use define. Within a dialect, it is standardized. However, confirming implementations about the same car language but with the different extension and uh, libraries. There are many dialects such as Lisp 1, Lisp 1.5, Standard Lisp 1.6, Mac Lisp, Interlisp, Frenzy Lisp, X Lisp, Standard Lisp and Portable Standard Lisp. Letter Lisp, Lad Lisp, Scheme, Common Lisp, Dylan, Your Lisp, Is Lisp, and NC Common Lisp, ACR2, Closure. Closure is a modern dialect of Lisp which compiles to the Java Virtual Machine and handles concurrency very well. After having declined somewhat in the 1990s, LISP has recently experienced a resurgence in public interest among programmers. Most new activity is focused around the implementation of common LISP as well as closure. Racket, Scheme, and Emac Lisp, and includes the development of new portable library and applications. Lisp is very expressive language. Lisp is designed to let you take the most com complicated programming ideas and express them in a clear and appropriate way. Lispers had the freedom to write a program in exactly the way that is most helpful for solving any problem at hand. The power at your fingertips when writing Lisp code is what makes it so different. Once you get Lisp, you will be forever changed as a programmer. Even if you end up never writing Lisp code again, for the rest of your life, learning Lisp will fundamentally change you as a coder. In a way, learning a typical programming language is similar to learning a foreign language as an adult. Suppose you go out tomorrow and decide you are going to learn French. You may take every course on French that you can find, read materials that are only in French, and even more. Even move to French, but no matter what you do, your understanding of French will always remain a little imperfect and no matter how good of a French speaker you eventually become, in your dreams, 
you probably will still be speaking in your native language. Lisp is different. It's not just like learning any foreign language. Once you have learned Lisp, you will never dream. In other language, you are going to dream in Lisp. Lisp is such a powerful idea that it will crowd out your previous programming experience and become your new mother tongue. Whenever you encounter a new programming idea in any language, you always say to yourself, "That's kind of how I, how I do in." Lisp, except that the kind of power only Lisp will give you. Well, Lisp and Lispers are very hard call. Okay, it's enough.